reciprocating masses numerical problems are here where you are supposed to draw the four polygons and couple polygons okay these are my handwritten notes in these uh, in these notes uh, whatever the questions are there go through these varieties of questions at least try four to five problems okay so that you can easily get 20 marks from this particular module also okay as it is the passing module you should not neglect this module at all hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again dear friends hope you are all doing well in the previous video we have discussed the passing package for the finite element analysis today i am with another important subject that is theory of machine storm as it is the combination of two subjects uh, dom and com dynamics of machinery and uh, kinematics of machines okay so you should not neglect this subject it becomes very typical at the time of the examination as most of the students will be thinking that we uh, we will clear this subject in the only one engineering night over there so pehle hi batata hu ki nahi hoga bhai nahi hoga theek hai so let us discuss the uh, passing modules over here <clears throat> that is the module fifth uh, it is the passing module okay somehow comparative to other uh, modules over there so first of all go through the definitions like uh, what is natural frequency resonance amplitude damping factor degree of freedom and time period okay and there are some derivations like uh, derive expression for the natural frequency of the spring mass system using newton's method and energy method okay once you go through these uh, type of expressions for the newton's method and energy method on that particular basis there are some problems okay where you are supposed to calculate or determine the natural frequency uh, with uh, these type of methods like newton's method and energy method okay so these are the very simpler problems which you should go through and you will easily get 10 to 12 marks by covering this much portion okay next uh, derivation is a state uh, logarithmic decrement derive the equation for logarithmic decrement okay next is set up the differential equation for a spring mass damper system and obtain complete solution for critically dampered condition okay this may be the uh, question over there and next is the most important one define transmissibility derive an expression for the force transmissibility okay next is derive an equation for steady state amplitude for forced vibration with rotating unbalance so uh, they may ask you like this one also it is the same derivation but the pattern of asking is different okay so this is derivation here expression for magnification factor or amplitude ratio for spring mass system with viscous damping subjected to harmonic force these two are the same okay these two derivations so next is expression for oscillatory motion of a spring mass damper system okay so you should cover this much portion from the module fifth okay so that you can easily cover 20 marks from this particular module next passing module is the module first in which you have to go through some theoretical concepts like define the following link kinematic chain degree of freedom inversion machine mechanism what is inversion explain any one inversion of double slide slider crank mechanism with the help of a neat sketch and differentiate between higher pair and lower pair with neat sketch explain any two inversions of single slider crank chain and also velocity and acceleration analysis of slider crank mechanism four bar mechanism four bar mechanism there are some problems uh, if you are convenient with the problematic part go through these type of problems okay and also using complex algebra derive expressions for velocity and acceleration of the piston angular acceleration of connecting rod of a single crank mechanism okay first of all what you have to calculate velocity and acceleration of the piston and angular acceleration of connecting rod okay of a uh, slider crank mechanism also you should go through problems of uh, this particular complex algebra method okay where there are varieties of problems so you have to go through if you want uh, the previous year papers you can go through the google itself by searching com papers 18 scheme okay so that you will get questions variety of questions which you have which you have to practice on that particular basis okay this is the model and also some theoretical questions like whitworth quick return mechanism elliptical trammel and crank and slotted lever mechanism and also old arms coupling over there okay so next is module 4 which is the passing module which i will discuss over here that is your derive an expression for determining speed of spindle of a porter governor taking friction into account okay next is with a neat sketch explain controlling force diagram for spring controlled governor and also some definitions like uh, sensitiveness stability isochronism 
governor effort and power hunting okay and also go through the problems on porter and hartnell governor over there if you want to neglect this much portion also you can neglect uh, just because there are the uh, problems uh, 20 marks problem from the reciprocating masses and balancing of rotating masses okay so i will show you the interface of the this reciprocating masses you should go through instead of if you are not convenient with the rotating masses also go through the re reciprocating masses masses which are easier one compared to this rotating masses okay this is the balancing of reciprocating masses numerical problems are here where you are supposed to draw the force polygons and couple polygons okay these are my handwritten notes in this uh, in these notes uh, whatever the questions are there go through these varieties of questions at least try four to five problems okay so that you can easily get 20 marks from this particular module also okay as it is the passing module you should not neglect this module at all okay and what do you mean by the static and dynamic balancing this may be the six marks question from this particular module okay now in the module second you have to cover the questions like state d Lambert's principle state the conditions for static equilibrium of a body subjected to a system of two forces three forces members with two force and a torque once you go through these conditions of static equilibrium you can easily tackle the problems of static force analysis i have also the handwritten notes of uh, mine over there okay so you can go through those notes also where i have uh, written i think 10 questions for from the static analysis okay you can go through those problems very simpler ones but you should remember these conditions and try to learn these conditions over there of static equilibrium okay and also there are some important problems super important problems make sure you will uh, take a screenshot of these problems these are the long ones if i just read it it will become long video so take a screenshot of this portion okay and this part also take a screenshot okay this is an important problem over there important three problems definitely they will ask one question from this okay so now and also from flywheel you have to cover some theory questions like calculate the required size of a flywheel for a given punching machine considering parameters like power input desired speed and accept acceptable speed variations describe the function of a flywheel in terms of energy storage and smooth operation in punching and sharing process define a flywheel and explain its purpose in simple machines such as punching machines and shear machines this is all about the module second and from the module third you have to cover some derivations and also theoretical concepts derive an expression for minimum number of teeth necessary for gear to avoid interference derive the expression for length of path of contact and arc of contact for a pair of involute gears contact these are the super important questions and explain with neat sketch simple gear train compound gear train epicyclic gear train over there or sometimes they will ask you instead of this what do you understand by the gear train discuss various types of gear trains okay state and prove law of gearing and also go through the problems of gear, uh, gear trends okay these are the simpler ones compared to this portion okay so go through gear trend problems so that you can easily tackle this mom subject you can easily grab marks it is not only the passing uh, you can easily score by this much portion i wish you all the best for your examination and thank you for watching my video